Hello, my dear friends. Some viewers who left, <laughs> English speaking viewers. Uh, I'm so grateful to you that you steal my viewer. <clears throat> Sorry, I, I'm not doing this English readings regular. That's why I decided to do a Celtic cross uh, for English speaking audience. Celtic cross for summer. Now it's 11th of June. I'm recording this. So it will be <clears throat> for the rest of June, July and August. And uh, I will choose what sign I'll be doing reading for randomly. I'll pick a card. Until now I did for three signs. Scorpio, uh, Leo and Aries. And astrological sign of the card. <clears throat> excuse me, will tell us who this reading, the spirit want to be for. For what sign? We shall make a reading right now. For what this reading should be. This page of swords. Uh, well, um, knight of swords is Gemini. Page, I think it's just element. No, it's not enough for us. <clears throat> well, for what sign, spirit, for what sign you want me to do the reading? Judgment. It's Pluto. And Pluto, uh, it's Scorpio again. Scorpio, we had Scorpio already. For what sign... I shall do the reading. King of Pentacles. Pentacles. Taurus. Taurus. So this reading will be for Taurus. Taurus, it's for you for summer. Celtic Cross can talk about anything. Uh, it can be about, for some of you, about some working situation, for some of you about some family things, uh, for somebody maybe it's love reading. So Celtic Cross for Taurus, for the summer. Celtic Cross for Taurus. Let's have a look what this reading will be about. The Heart of the matter. What this reading will be about for Taurus. Six of Swords. Changes. But you know, uh, it's a lot of fear in this change. Like something is changing. Uh, something is moving. But I'm not sure. I feel like... For some Taurus, maybe it's really like <clears throat> a little bit unpleasant changes. And you don't know where you will come after this. But for some of you, it might be positive changes. But still you have some, like, I don't know, is it good that he offered, he, um, offered me to marry him, for example. So changes, but at the same time, there is like feeling, I'm not sure what will be after this. Maybe for some, for some Taurus, uh, the, there is an issue about some secrets coming to light or might come to light some things that you prefer to keep for yourself. Mm. What's the word in English? Wait a second. I have to... Uh, Google Translator. No, what's the word? Bad feeling? Bad... Foreboding. Anticipation, maybe. But not good one, like, oh, I don't know what will be. <coughs> So it's something about this, some movement, some change. At the same time, it's a fear there. Well, it's like 
heart of the matter. But outside what it's crossing this what's crossing this what to a ten of pentacles. So uh, dear Taurus, it's <clears throat> maybe it's about money, family money, inheritance, health, family issues. Uh, something that you owe together with somebody about family in whole family property as well so it has something to do with or money or family or marriage or security security maybe something is changing and for you you're not sure will you be safe there will everything will be uh, Will you be all right after the, those changes? Something about it. Uh, what's in your mind, dear Taurus? What are you thinking about? What plans are you making? What's in mind of Taurus? What, what they have in their head? Two of chalices. Uh, some of you thinking about your loved ones. Somebody thinking about some love, friendship, trust. Uh, maybe you want to be good friends with somebody. Maybe you want to make up with somebody. Maybe you're thinking about marriage in whole or couple, uh, some pair. Because two of cups, it's two people. It's kind of love, it's kind of union. Uh, it's kind of being together with somebody, trusting supporting each other yes love trust couple union marriage agreements maybe even and trust in this in agreements and just about happiness as well also maybe maybe it's really looked like for some Taurus. <clears throat> uh, maybe you gonna marry it soon. And of course things changing. Of course. Of course you have this ooh, 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 I don't know. It's so exciting and scary at the same time. Uh, but there is some preparation, things are all right, and you're thinking, I hope, I'm thinking about our happiness, I'm thinking where we'll go on honeymoon, and things like that. So you have uh, nice thoughts in your mind. Well, we'll see the reality, what's going on, because this is heart of the matter, this is what it's about, but what is in the reality, what's going on? What do you have now in your foundation? What's there? The reality now for Taurus? What is this? Queen of Swords. Hmm. Queen of Swords. I think this Queen... Uh, <laughs> it's some woman but she is or tough or upset maybe or I don't know why usually I'm not thinking about Queen of Swords like about somebody who suspicious but here I feel like this maybe you have in maybe you're dealing with somebody who is quite tough very clever very serious and Maybe, because not everybody uh, getting married, maybe you want to like, speak the same language with this person. But she is not so kind, she is not so friendly. Oh, excuse me, please. Sorry for that. It was my husband. He is on a business trip. I couldn't... Uh, I had to take, uh, pick the phone. Well, Taurus, where uh, did we stop? Ah, you're thinking about this, uh, or relationships with this person, or you're thinking about love, or you want to make up with this person, uh, be together. But the reality is a little bit uh, strange. 
it looks for me at least strange of course it can be that you you are with this person it uh, might be an air sign or with uh, qualities like this air sign I mean uh, Gemini um, Libra or Aquarius um, but if it's not just uh, characteristics or sign of this person then she might be tough she maybe she is saying things like they are either and it's not so pleasant if you female Taurus female something is changing you like have I don't know where is this translator Wait a second. Maybe you have this feeling. Something is going on. I'm afraid that things will get worse, for example. Or maybe you want the relationships, but you don't have some right now. Queen of Swords, quite often, it's a woman who is alone. Well, we'll see. Maybe I'm wrong. We'll see what the cards will show us in your recent past. Recent past, <coughs> sometimes it's the core of situation, the root. What for Taurus was in the recent past? What situation? They had in the ooh, recent past the moon card. Uh, there might could be could be um, some uh, a little bit unpleasant things, lies, deception, um, jealousy from somebody or from you. For because it's genuine reading, we are all so different. We all have different backgrounds, uh, situations. I feel it's like unpleasant moon. Hmm. Maybe you couldn't see things clearly. Maybe something was frightening you. Or you... It's a lot of... I think it's a lot of fear because fear in the Six of Swords it's a little bit different than in a traditional deck. Fear in this moon card. And this tough person as well. Or sadness. Some sadness here. Well. Maybe somebody, some Taurus, maybe you uh, had some relationships. But something went wrong. And now you are not together with this person. And you want to be together. You want to be coupled. You want to be happy. You want to have couple for yourself. But moon is uh, not easy. Mm -hmm. It could be uh, some suspicions. Could be some secrets. Maybe you, Taurus, some of you, you could have some things that you maybe didn't want to come out. But they are, they might come out. Maybe you're fearing it. And you are really tense because maybe, they, because it doesn't have to be a queen, a woman. It can be a person man, woman, that not digging under you, no, but like maybe even know about these secrets. And you afraid that this uh, she or he might tell your partner something and you don't want it to be revealed, those secrets. Also can be this way.
if you have good relationships but you still have some fear in front of some change you're trying to be objective you're trying to see the reality um, you want to be happy but something is like bothering you it looks like this at least what is in the near future and we're doing it in the beginning of June so it's somewhere here in June probably what is in the near future for Taurus <coughs> the temperance card for some <coughs> excuse me for some of you if you had some split up if you had some divorce if you uh, separated from this person um, temperance telling us that of course you will be trying to calm down you will be healing from this situation you will be adapting to this situation because if you will see this um, temperance in this deck uh, this I don't know how you call this Pharaon king Egyptian king lost his wife and uh, she's already passed away but now he's crying over her coffin uh, he is like getting used to be not with her so it's a card of healing card of things getting better after this moon things will get better you will feel better some of you you might find some compromises with somebody if there was some tense in the relationships if there was some fears probably you will and you dreaming to uh, uh, come together with this person be together with this person um, fall in love again and things uh, you want things to be perfect in your partnership I'm not saying that temperance telling you that it will be perfect in a couple of weeks but probably you will be able to uh, communicate to um, find some compromises uh, not to be like on these knives because you know swords it's knives and moon it's also not good there is no trust in moon even if nothing is happening if even if it's, there is no reason in the moon sometimes we're just getting jealous we're getting suspicion we, we I don't know like uh, I, I can't trust this person there is no trust in this card well let's look at you how you will be behaving Taurus how you will be thinking how you will be seeing this situation Taurus how will you be hmm, hmm. you know Taurus it, it's not very nice card it's not very nice if you having trust issues or you being jealous then you know uh, like you still hmm but at the same time you you want perfect union you want love you want understanding you want mm, two of cups two of chalices in this deck but you are acting not correctly sorry to say it for some tourists maybe you feel yourself like poor me poor me I I don't have something like I'm longing for something but I can't have it I didn't deserve it thoughts that I'm having thoughts that I'm having self-esteem lack of self-esteem in this card it's nine of pentacles so when it's upright it's really like uh, being feeling comfortable being sure in yourself feeling all right um, respecting yourself and others but here something is wrong and of course it's general it can be in so different ways uh, if you hmm. 
if someone owes you money and you expecting them to pay but you are like there was some problems in the past still you fearing that they will not pay you uh, this amount of money you trying to check things or someone being aggressive with you because of this you trying to like calm down calm down but at the same time you getting maybe you will be getting some uh, amounts but not uh, the whole thing like they like they not paying in time or if you owe money to somebody you will not be paying correctly how you should I'm sorry to say it <coughs> Taurus but how many people so many situations uh, in our signs we have nice people and not very nice people you have to understand it so it might not apply to you but something is wrong in your um, feelings in your behavior you don't you're not sure you're not sure in something this is what I feel even though you have this two of chalices in your head in your mind in your plans but you are some of you just having lack of self-esteem and being afraid of something maybe you think that someone is cheating you someone is stealing money taking your money from you that you should have but for some of you you might want somebody's money that is not yours I am sorry to say it but it's like looks like this well right we'll see people environment uh, influences from outside the Taurus in some um, what is influencing the situation from outside ace of cups someone in your environment will be very emotional will be in love talking about love offering you something giving you this cup full of joy full of uh, happiness, full of emotions. You know, mm, for some of you, really, somebody offering you love, but you have trust issues or jealous, like out of norm, you know? I don't know even if there, there is a reason but you know this ace of chalices it's really like offer new love new person it's upright it's upright so it's nice it's good but you have to understand when you are staying in this uh, condition being not sure in yourself uh, feeling and thinking that someone didn't give you something but maybe you just not you are in wrong condition to you can't see this you are seeing it in the wrong light what they offering you what they telling you maybe they honest with you just maybe they are saying it in a very emotional way or maybe they're talking about love, but you're thinking about money. Or they talking you about that, I love you, they saying to you. But because of lack of self-esteem, you're thinking, uh, it's impossible. So be careful with this, Taurus. Be careful. Mm -hmm. All right. Now we'll see your hopes and fears in this situation hopes and fears of Taurus about this situation uh, the hermit card hmm. if it's about love you're thinking about union you're thinking about love you're thinking about you and him or her and you're afraid that this person will leave uh, if it's about finances you hoping to be happy you hope to you want to 
like make up with this person have an honest conversation uh, discuss something in the nice way actually in the nice way make, make some agreement but it's in your head but you are like this that's why you probably don't see what they uh, telling you what they offering you and you're afraid that they will uh, hide something they will not give you what you deserve as you think maybe it's about something else but uh, hermit or you hope to hide something if it if you like a bad Taurus I'm sorry uh, because it can be a hope a hermit can hide things from others so no one can see it huh but some of you are just afraid that someone will leave and someone will like or reject you or you will not come to this uh, happiness together well the outcome of the outcome for the end of summer but if it's some particular situation maybe it's not about end of summer maybe it will be earlier but you just will see the result of this Taurus by the end of summer what the result will be for you towards this strength card love trust uh, feeling sure in yourself being busy with something I mean like putting your effort in something uh, maybe it's just temporary mm, a lack of confidence maybe it's just temporary fears because things will be all right there will be love there will be you will be strong things will be fine because it's strength upright you will be able if you were jealous for some reason or you were afraid you will be brave enough and you will have this healthy feelings healthy feelings you will stop to be jealous all over the place all the time like you if you were jealous in this moon card things will be good finally finally it will be all right so you just have to pay attention because we have your reading and we have only one reversal and it's a good card but it's in reversal so and it's your condition your behavior how you see things and you see it if it's reverse in the wrong way you have to remember it and try to be like this don't say unpleasant things to people who you interacting who you with with in this situation because you know this I'm always thinking about nine of Pentacles like about card of politeness like about kind of people who are well educated they speaking beautiful they're not using um, dirty words they are kind they are tuck, tactful but like this watch you what you saying what you doing and how you thinking about people and things because you can make your life easier probably if in your environment there will there would be some ugly stuff sneaky people I would say that yes of course you have to be suspicious because uh, things like that. but you, you know it's honesty open heart telling the truth telling things how they are maybe emotionally yes maybe emotionally but at this point they are honest oh, 
on the bottom of the deck you've got this full in reversed full upright it's like new beginning yes making this uh, I began to speak Russian because it's <laughs> midnight uh, making step forward starting something new doing it looks like foolish things but they are not foolish they are just the right things but when it's in reversed probably the whole atmosphere of this thing or something that was happening you know it, it's like sick sick unhealthy thing and making jumps jumping to something without being prepared without without having some information without any facts just like got crazy got foolish and did something completely wrong be careful with this and um, and be careful careful with alcohol as well because uh, it can be again I need the word wait a second <clears throat> poisoning yeah intoxication from alcohol at least I see it in this reading so it's not it's not bad reading it's a good reading it's a nice outcome a lot of bad things were in the past you have some fears still <clears throat> but some Taurians behaving not right and even if you say if you will say I'm behaving well I'm you, you know then you don't have self-esteem you don't believe in yourself you don't believe in your luck even when people really uh, telling you wonderful things you don't believe that you deserved it it's also wrong behavior so you have to believe in yourself you have to be sure in yourself you have to raise your self-esteem be proud of yourself have a healthy relationships with yourself then they will be healthy with other people that's it dear Taurus I hope you like it I hope uh, it made some sense to you if not then try to watch your rising or moon sign but anyways I'm wishing you luck and great summer bye bye